Let's make some rice and walnut kheer in instant pot and for this kheer we need 1 cup of basmati rice and half cup of walnuts approximately 42 grams and quarter teaspoon of cardamom powder this is my homemade cardamom powder and I have shared how to make this uh, cardamom powder already on my youtube channel I'll link it up and we need one to one and a quarter cup of sugar adjust it to your taste preference and also we need five cups of milk I've taken whole milk currently I have only two cups and I'll be adding three more cups later so now let's get started in with the procedure so I've rinsed the rice well and now I'm going to add this into the instant pot let's add two cups of milk and half of the sugar give it a good mix So while the rice and milk is cook, getting cooked, let's soak the walnuts and I'm going to let it soak in water for about 20 minutes. So it's been 20 minutes, now I'm going to drain this water and grind it into a smooth paste. So here is the ground walnut paste. So the cooking is complete and uh, I've let it sit for 5 minutes and now I'm going to release all the pressure quickly. So move it to the open mode. So the pressure is all released. Open the instant pot. So the rice is well cooked. We want a soft and mushy consistency and that's what it is as you can see is all cooked now I'm going to set the instant pot in saute mode so now I'm going to add the remaining three cups of milk quarter teaspoon of cardamom powder and a ground walnut paste so I'm going to mix this just make we are mixing it without any lumps so I have mixed the rice well there aren't any lumps now I'm going to add the remaining sugar at this stage you can check the uh, taste of the kheer and adjust the sugar accordingly you know either you can reduce the sugar amount or you can increase the sugar amount instead of sugar uh, you can also add a little bit of condensed milk that adds uh, creamy texture to the kheer and uh, I'm gonna let it simmer for about three minutes until the sugar is all well dissolved and that's it the kheer is ready I'm not gonna uh, temper this kheer with any nuts or anything because I've already added the walnut paste and that's gonna give it a very nice taste so I'm not gonna add any nuts further and uh, let this simmer and we'll, I'll show it to you so the kheer has been simmering and now that's it mix it well and turn off the instant pot the kheer is ready